Hi guys, I'm really excited to show you the next iteration of your backyard space uh, based on the new priorities uh, you presented after um, your due diligence. Uh, so things that are um, new are going to be things like the veggie garden um, and of course uh, area and thinking about the uh, sports court. Um, but a lot of stuff is going to probably look and feel pretty familiar uh, because I think we were pretty close last time. So let's take a, a look at what we've got here. So we're standing in your family room and we're get outside real quick through your sliding glass doors and still we see the the main focus of the space is this outdoor dining space i've refined the design before and now it's not so quite ad hoc I, I like the the simple detailing of these square uh tube steel beams um i also think that this is going to just be a great space for large dining parties and of course a great spot to sit uh and do office work in um, there are a couple of refinements I've made. Um, the first is because we're going more contemporary, I like the idea of these stone bases being a bit more slender, but a bit taller too, to sort of end cap the, uh, the bench here and have this sort of consistent look. I really like this. I think this also saves you a little bit on steel. Maybe not, you know, you still have to buy the full 40 foot length. Um, and how many of these am I proposing? These are now about... Uh, five foot eight tall, so one, two, three. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, this is flexible. We could talk more about how to detail the columns. Maybe the, the back ones are different from the front ones. Maybe the front ones just come all the way down to the ground. Uh, but for now, I, I like this look. I, I feel like I really like the way it defines the space. Um, but I'd love your feedback on that. Uh, another bit of refinement I'm showing here is that I still want to incorporate your outdoor cooking space, but maybe, like you said, um, its footprint should be minimized. So I am now showing just a single storage space, although it would seem a shame not to incorporate some storage along the back here too. We could, we could talk about that, but maybe just this open space here uh, would be sufficient for you. Um, but I like stretching the line a little bit. I like providing some shade uh, for you while you're cooking at the grill. I like the little bit of storage this provides. And I mean, this is a command center right here, right? I mean, you could sit here at the head of the table um, while you're tending the barbecue. Uh, you could be on your laptop, um, either checking out your, your favorite newly designed architectural website, or maybe you're looking up a recipe um, for, you know, the, the dinner party you're going to throw. But, you know, this is your spot right here. And it's, it's, right next to uh, perhaps a new veggie garden. I don't know much about what you're seeking here, um, but I think this southern side of the yard uh, is probably the best spot for it, although I do worry about the looming fence and bamboo here, um, not providing enough sunlight for your uh, veggie garden, but uh, it seems like a good spot for it. Um, I think once we get past this side, this is where we can be really soft, um, and we could maybe eliminate this box, this veggie garden box, but go with something that's taller and slender in footprint. And maybe also turn this very lush um, tree well. You know, it would be a shame to, to rip those plants out, but maybe this should serve as a veggie garden. I just feel like this is such a, a garden zone, a soft spot for the dog to roll around in. Um, and of course, I think, I don't think there's a better spot for a dog run in this narrow space, um, so long as you're okay sending someone to, back there to clean up, um, this has got to be the best spot for the dog run, I imagine. Um, I would propose putting some planters against the wall to provide some softness against this side, um, perhaps also to screen some of the, the necessary utilities. Um, but then, let's see, oh, one other change here at the uh, covered uh, pergola is that uh, because you've mentioned the desire to want to sit out here uh, and do office work out here, I, I do worry about sun coming across and providing these two bright slats that really make uh, laptop work uh, harder. And so, and also maybe you want to work out here during uh, inclement weather. Maybe you'd like to work out here in the rain in a nice puffy jacket um, with the fireplace in the distance going. Uh, so in that case, what I would propose is that we do something like this, where we have a retractable screen uh, that perhaps bunches up uh, at one end over here, but can be pulled out, um, or perhaps it just rolls up here, actually, uh, where this rolls out and provides you uh, complete sun blockage, complete shade, 
uh, for your screen and also uh, a rain deterrent. Um, whether or not you trust it with your laptop under there, that's up to you. I've seen it, I've seen people do it. Uh, it is pretty rain uh, resistant uh, to do these umbrella type things. But I think that's the sort of final piece needed here uh, to really make this function for all of your uses. Uh, it's an outdoor gathering spot, outdoor office area, a bit of a, a backyard cookout spot, um, lots of up lighting to light up the wood when, or the, uh, the bright fabric here when uh, you've got a party going, but also direct light to light up the, you know, tasks uh, either at the cooking station or at your, uh, uh, your office or dining area. Um, still plenty of access uh, back here to store bulky storage bins, low storage bins, perhaps storage sheds um, with access, uh, you know, just tucked in behind here. I think that should work out pretty nicely. Um, let's head over this way. So uh, a big change or not a big change, but the, the really significant change here is that I would propose two things. One, obviously all um, non-fixed elements for the uh, fire pit. This fire table and all this furniture should be able to tuck into a space right here. So I've mocked that up to show you uh, what you could have uh, if we tucked all that same furniture into a row. Uh, and then if we turned on the sports court area here, uh, this is not perfect, um, but it does show you that you've got maybe some uh, amount of uh, of area here uh, that is available uh, for, uh, you know, your, your practice. Uh, you mentioned diving. Gosh, I don't know what your, how you practice diving uh, in a backyard space. Um, but I know you're also practicing some volleyball drills. So, you know, I'm a little concerned about, um, sorry, what would happen um, with these string lights that I would love to string between the two structures, the dining uh, pergola and this more open pergola above the hot tub area. Uh, but you know, these could be just hooked up to outdoor outlets um, and uh, little hooks, uh, stainless steel hooks and grommets that you know you could demount these to do some uh, high overhead practice after you've tucked the uh, the furniture over here. If that's not too much of a pain in the butt, I'd say that's what I would want to do. I'd love to define the space so that when you're friends and company and this is a gathering spot and not a sports spot, this is the way to be, right? You're down here, uh, you've got the fire going uh, in the middle, you've got beautiful string lights overhead providing beautiful ambient light and some twinkle. Um, you've got the, uh, the water feature right here sort of tucked in between the uh, outdoor gathering area and the dining area, so both spaces benefit from the the white noise it produces. Um, and then the, the hot tub hasn't changed much, uh, except that I'm proposing to scoot it, uh, the whole assembly, closer to the fence uh, in this direction and further from the fence in this direction so that we can uh, make use of this uh, open space to both store these movable furniture elements for practice, but also gain access to another row perhaps of um, some uh, veggie gardens uh, right here. Um, you know, we might have to remove a couple bamboo uh, bits here, but you know, this just sort of provides a, a little bit more breathing room for this and sort of puts this more in a, a central location. Uh, I like it. Uh, I like this open space. I think it doesn't feel choked down over here. In fact, if we were to shift this whole thing back over the, the two feet, you know, I start to wonder uh, you know, what are we really doing with this space uh, in front? You know, it's just, I guess, a little more uh, breathing room for when uh, guests come in. But to be honest with you, I think uh, this is equally as welcome. You know, shifting it forward again. Um, and it makes it possible to tuck things back there. I think that's a big use of space. You know, if it feels a little tight here, maybe we just omit this one planter. Um, although I've left 36 inches, three feet of space between this line and the edge of these large planters. So I, I, I think this is comfortable. Um, perhaps just a bit more comfortable without that one. But I think this is great. You know, I, I wonder how you're going to react to the idea of this movable furniture and, 
you know, how you're going to react to these different surfaces. Uh, is it going to be okay to do the drills um, in a sports area that's got different surfaces? I hope so, because I think it certainly adds in a, lot, a bit of nice variety. Um, but if that doesn't work for you, of course, we, we can adjust this and we can adjust it together live. So um, let's try to book a meeting for uh, not next week, but the week following uh, to go over your feedback and see if we're ready to start uh, talking to some builders about this as an overall concept. Oh, one, one last little edit. I did make it to the, uh, I added some um, paper lanterns or something similar to that effect. Um, a variety of sizes and, and maybe a sort of random zigzag pattern. Uh, I think it's kind of playful, um, but I, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Okay, thank you so much.